Hey guys, today we're going to talk about three lens characteristics and the relationship that they will have with that contact lens and how it will fit on the eye. So we have the base curve, the diameter, and the sagittal depth. So the base curve of a contact lens can be expressed in two ways. It can be expressed as a dioptric power, such as 45 diopters or 46 diopters, or it can also be expressed as the radius of curvature, kind of like you would see on some popular contact lens brands like 8.4, 8.8, uh, that type of thing, 8.7. Uh, diameter of a contact lens is the width of that contact lens. So you'll see, you know, 14 millimeters, 14.2. Um, that is the diameter, just the length of that contact lens from edge to edge. Sagittal depth is different. Sagittal depth is the distance from a flat surface to the back surface, so the central posterior surface of that contact lens. So it's the distance from that flat surface, like a table, uh, to the back of the contact lens. Sagittal depth, base curve, and diameter, they'll all have um, a certain effect on how loose or tight a contact lens will fit. And on the NCLE, there's a lot of questions geared around this. So it's a really uh, basic concept to get down that will help you work through a couple different questions. So as a diameter increases, the sagittal depth of the lens will also increase. And what's important to know is that as the diameter increases, as the sagittal depth of the lens increases, the lens will fit tighter. So conversely, if the sagittal depth decreases or as the diameter decreases we know that the contact lens will fit looser so a question might be as simple as giving you all these different diameters of contact lenses and asking you know which one will fit the tightest it's going to be the one with the greatest diameter so a 14.5 diameter lens assuming all the other um, variables of the lens are the same is going to fit tighter than a 13.5 diameter lens um, a shorter radius of curvature is going to increase the sagittal depth of the lens. So again, that, that sagittal depth is the distance from that flat surface to the central uh, posterior surface of the contact lens. If you can imagine, as that distance, this arc here, as it decreases, um, as that radius of curvature shortens, then it's going to increase the depth or that sagittal depth. It's kind of hard to, uh, to picture but also know that the longer the radius of curvature, the shorter the sagittal depth will be. So also know that relationship. And once again, the big thing is to know as the sagittal depth increases, as the diameter increases, the lens is going to fit tighter. Um, know that steeper base curves are going to make a lens fit tighter. There are so many questions that revolve around this. And just for a, a quick refresher, an 8.8 .8 base curve is actually, it's flatter than an 8.4 base curve, which would be steeper. Um, likewise, if you were to see it as a dioptric value, you would know that a 44 uh, diopter base curve is flatter than a 45 diopter base curve, which would be steeper. Um, larger diameter contact lenses are going to fit tighter. So um, just know this, know the base curves, you know, they could throw different examples where they have an 8.8 .8 base curve, an 8.4 base curve, and there's which one is going to uh, make this lens fit tighter on the individual's eyes. And you are going to know that the 8.4, that lower number in the radius of curvature, is steeper and it's going to fit tighter. So just, you know, maybe review this video till you get some of those basic concepts down, and it will help you navigate through quite a few uh, questions on your NTLE examination. Thank you.